Good morning and welcome back to our cabin. Today I'm going to be working with my dad on hopefully finishing up uh, our propane heater install to get our cabin ready for the cold weather ahead. It's been a pretty mild winter so far so it hasn't actually got that cold and we've actually lost quite a bit of our snow. So we it has a light flurry going on right now, it's really pretty, but my dad's going to help me out. Eric had to work today so he didn't come with me. We're going to see how much we can get done. So it's not actually that cold in the cabin, which is really nice, but I'm gonna get a fire started and we'll get to work. And my grandfather decided to come down and help us too, so that's really great. And I'll have lots of hands to help me get this project wrapped up. Oh, down he goes. The heater we're installing is the Martin Direct Bent Propane Heater. And in my last video, we had put the wood on the wall so we were all ready for adding on the heater. And we had started to cut the hole for where it is vented out through the wall. However, we need to finish that up today. <laughs> The seam down. Whoa. The seam down, and then to just caught. Oops. Does this need to be on the wall still? No. Yeah. You don't think we need the measurements anymore? I don't think so. Do we want it flush with this? No, it's Ruby. That's <laughs> dead. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> she has herself her own little window. Okay, miss. I gotta get in there. Excuse me. Beep beep. Okay, Rube. What is it? Should I drill a hole first? Drill a hole first. Like there? Yeah. Like that? Uh, yeah. Is that what you wanted me to do? Yeah, now put a screw in there. Okay. Here, you think? She thinks it's her own window. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby. Come here, girl. Ruby. Hey, girl. Come see me. 13 5 8 And that's how much we need to cut the pipe? 13 5 8 That the length? Side. Let's see what's uh, here. 13 5 8 If you look at the diagram, see what you think. This one has to be the wall. This Plus, uh, so it's eight plus plus four and three quarters. So twelve and three quarters. Okay. So fourteen and three sixteenths from there. Yeah. Okay. So f I think it's from that. Yeah. 14 and 3 sixteenths. How in the heck are we going to draw that? I think we need a better coloring yeah, device. Yeah, I'll put my thumb there. Okay, there. And we're going to cut that with a hacksaw. Okay. Watch your nose, Ruby. Decided to switch. Two doll. Switch the refrigerator.
Yeah, hey, see that'll thread in that hole, Mags. It'll go in the hole. It's supposed to go in here. It's to, yeah, we'll thread in there. Do you want the seams? Down? Yeah, I keep it down. That seam down. So water doesn't go. Okay. Look better anyway. So what is going in? Just be going around that. Is that thread sticking out? Yeah. Stick that on it. And then... So you take the three screws out and then it slides up. up. The front. What the front part slides up? Yeah. And why do you do that? So you get access to Oh just screw it to screw the wall. Screw it to the wall. Oh. Do you want me to take the screws? They're out a little. Do you want me to do the level? Yeah, I might just want uh, Okay. And do we have the screwdriver handy? <laughs> That'd be a good point. <laughs> Which one is it? Ah, uh, so, this one? Okay. So Phillips. This one? Nice, okay. This is where we're going to make it happen. Do we want to put like on a bench or anything? Or not? We're just going to let it hover? Or not. And then we just want to put one in and then level it after? Yeah. Okay, which, you want your side in? Is that good? Is anywhere near level? Uh, no, Grampy's side needs to go up. Oh, yeah. There, that's near level. Oh, okay. Well, the screw gun would have been nice. Yeah. Right about that. Is that level? Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty straight now. You don't mean take over? No. <laughs> How'd I know that answer? Did it pull it in good? Yeah, they got one. No. <laughs> That's prior for the course. It all you always stick your fingers in. <laughs> Paint to it. So here is a. I don't think this is the right size. This is too big. This oh. is way too big. So we got the propane here all mounted on the wall and the last thing we need to do is we need to hook up the actual propane to the heater and then it will be good to get it going. Um, but first we need a few parts uh, just to connect the propane line so we gotta go to the store and get those and then we'll be able to finish up. So that's the next thing to do and then we'll be almost done this project. So I get the final pieces and now have it all set up 
It's gonna be really nice for when the weather gets colder that we can have the heater on just to be able to keep the cabin above freezing. So our main source of heat in here is going to be our wood stove, which is great for when we're here, but when we're not here, it's nice to be able to keep the cabin a little bit warmer. So we'll be able to set this on low and just have the cabin not get quite so cold. So our batteries are lead acid batteries. I think I said it wrong in another video, but they're lead acid batteries, which means if it gets below about minus 25 degrees Celsius, which I think is around minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit, then the water in them can freeze. And so we're not getting quite that cold yet here in New Brunswick. We're still around more like minus 10, minus 15. It's been a pretty warm January. So it will get to being that cold in New Brunswick later on into the winter. And so having this, Heater will really be good for having our batteries in here so that they won't get cold, too cold, and will still be able to work good for us. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.